Can I take creatine on an empty stomach? Is it gonna break my fast? Let's figure it out together. Hi, I'm Maya Valenti with Naked Nutrition, your private chef and nutrition coach here to help you make smarter decisions about your health and your fitness. Today we are talking about this supplement that gets a lot of attention in the fitness world as well as on this channel. We talk about it a lot. Creatine, we love creatine. And why is that? Because it's an amazing supplement. But today we are talking about something specific. Can you take creatine on an empty stomach? Will it cause issues or impact your performance? Let's break it down. Okay, so can you take creatine on an empty stomach? The short answer is going to be yes, it is totally safe to do so. In fact, a lot of people do take it first thing in the morning or before a fasted workout. But there is a catch, there's always a catch. It can cause some digestive issues like bloating, nausea, or gas, and taking it without food, well, it might reduce how much your muscles actually absorb. So while it's technically fine, it might not be optimal, and we don't like that, right? Does creatine work better with food? Yes, studies suggest that taking creatine with carbohydrates specifically, like banana or sweet potato, it's going to boost absorption. How interesting is that? That's because those carb spikes, because that's because carb spikes insulin, and that helps to shuttle that creatine into the muscle cells more efficiently. So if your goal is maximum strength and muscle gain, pairing creatine with carbs is in your best interest. Okay, but if you insist to take creatine first thing in the morning and do a fasted workout, is it gonna break a fast? Well, if you're doing intermittent fasting, most people agree that staying under 50 calories during a fast is gonna be okay and won't take you out of fasted state. And since creatine supplements are usually low in calories, especially if they're pure creatine monohydrate with no added sugars, then yes, you can likely take creatine during your fast as long as you keep it clean and you stay under that 50 calorie threshold. Just make sure that you always read the label and double check for hidden carbs or additives. What about mixing creatine with coffee? Can you do that? Absolutely, in fact, there's a video on it you can check out. Creatine is not a stimulant, so there's no issue with combining it with caffeine. Just keep in mind that both are diuretics, which means that they can dehydrate you. So make sure that you're drinking plenty of water, especially if you're stacking creatine with your morning brew. Okay, let's talk about timing. When is that best time to take creatine? Honestly, it depends on your routine. Research shows no major differences between taking it pre or post workout. Some studies say that it's better before a workout to support that explosive energy through that ATP PC system, which fuels short bursts of power and strength. And then there's gonna be the other people that are arguing that it's better to take it after your workout. And the reason for that, to support muscle growth and really help to repair that muscle during that repair phase. What's the bottom line? Just pick the time that fits your schedule best and make sure that you're doing it consistently. Consistency is going to be key with creatine. So how much creatine should you take daily? Well, there's no official RDI, but here's what most experts are going to recommend. So for that loading phase, you're gonna do about 0.3 grams per kilogram of body weight for about three to five days. That usually ends up being about 20 to 25 grams per day, split into four doses. And then you have your maintenance phase, which is going to be three to five grams daily after loading. Large power athletes may need up to 10 grams per day. And if you're vegan or vegetarian, you might benefit even more since creatine is mainly found in animal products like red meat and fish. So should anyone avoid creatine on an empty stomach? Yes. If you're somebody who gets bloating or nausea or gas in general, tends to get discomfort easily, then you want to avoid that. You wanna try taking creatine with food, especially with something that has carbs, like a banana, like I mentioned before, or a bowl of oatmeal would be perfect. That's going to really help ease your stomach and improve that absorption at the same time. And we love to kill two birds with one stone and get extra benefits. All right, let's recap. It's safe to take creatine on an empty stomach, but it might cause digestive issues for some. Taking creatine with carbs is going to improve that absorption and clean low calorie creatine will not break your fast. You can take it before or after your workout, just make sure you're consistent and aim for three to five grams per day, unless you're doing a loading phase. And 
always, always, always hydrate with creatine, especially if you're taking creatine with caffeine. And if you're looking for a clean, pure creatine with zero fillers, zero sugar, and nothing to hide, check out Naked Creatine at NakedNutrition.com. And if this video helped you out, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and drop your questions in the comments. I do read them. We are here to help you feel smarter. See you next time. Thank you.